Hello everybody, I just got back from watching Frozen and I loved it so much I thought I'd come on, come over here and talk about it, come on here and talk about it, as I, one of my other videos I came on and I talked about the trailer of Frozen, I really love this movie, I mean it started out with, um, I might actually do a, re like a real review, but this is just like a first reaction kind of thing like this, I might actually do a real review, but I want to make sure I talk about it right after I see it, I just got back, I saw it. It just ended like ten minutes ago, and uh, we'll see. I thought it was. It started out. I know it was. It by it. It reminded me so much of Tangled, and it did it in a very, very nice way. I really loved it. Um, it opens with like a nice um, relationship between the girls and whatever, and it was so. It was so cute. But then it was sad, and I thought it was gonna be a sad movie. And it kind of, it does, I, I noticed like a similarity between that and Tangle is like, oh, childhood sadness, but then move on. But Tangled was a little more, I just realized Tangled is a little more like man-child kind of thing, where she, oh, childhood got messed up, so I just have to get it back throughout my adulthood. For this one, I think it like, like one of the songs was, let it go, let it go, I never really minded the cold, I loved that, I loved that so much. It was so good. It was such a good song. It was so catchy. Because I thought it was going to be like a sad moment when the when the girl... Okay, I'm not going to give too much away, but she ran away. And I thought it was going to be... Oh, it was sad. But then she started singing this happy, upbeat song. And the music was like working with her. Let it go. Let it go. I never really minded the snow. It was so good. Around at the cold. I only saw it once. I'm not reviewing it. I'm just going over how much I liked it. Now, it took a weird turn because... One of the characters, um, I call him Commander Sideburns, I think you know this guy. He comes in, and I expected him to come in and start singing, Sideburns, on the side of my face, has my head turns, but no, it's like, they didn't even acknowledge the fact that he's got, like, <clears throat> sideburns. It's like, I didn't know, I, like, I didn't know Toby Turner was in this movie. So anyways, he, I, I thought he was, I, I thought he was pretty evil from the start. Uh, I didn't trust him, like, at all. But then he turns out to be kind of nice, but then, I don't get, I'm not giving anything away, but it's like, Mr. I called him Commander Sideburns, I think his name is Hans, Hans, Hans Gruber, like, from, um, uh, <laughs> why am I talking about, um, I can't remember that name, the name of the movie with, uh, Bruce Willis, and the greatest action movie of all time, Die Hard, there we go, um, but, it was so good. It was so warm inside. I loved it. The other, the other man came in. And he was like, "Nice." It was such a good movie. And I, I loved. Um, although there's what a couple of things that bugged me in the intro. In the intro to the movie, like there's it's supposed to be this this nice introduced to like the kid when he's a kid, the man when he's a kid, and he. He gives, he gives reindeer a carrot, he takes a bite of it, and then he bites it. He's like, I was about to scream out in that theater, that's not sanitary! Gross! He's like, okay, but <laughs> beyond that, I mean, I know it's a movie. That was gross. Don't share a carrot with a reindeer. But anyway, I love this movie. Um, he does that through the whole movie. Doesn't, never, like, nobody ever addresses the fact that that's gross. The guy's crazy. He's, uh, everyone's crazy. It's such a good movie. And... Like, it slowly comes to fruition that it's like, wait a minute, both the girl and this guy are kind of, re kind of secluded, recluse, recluse people, and not necessarily on purpose, though, either. And it's like, but, like, after I watched the movie, I just kind of realized that the man, like, the man, the recluse man, he was, like, kind of, his story must have been sad, because, I mean, he looked, it looked like he was with all those ice hunting guys, but then he ran away. And accidentally got lost forever to be raised by. I'm not giving no giving away things. Kind of this is not real. I'm not spoil. I'm not trying to spoil anything. But it, it's just, oh, I love that movie. I'll do a full. Re I'll probably do a full review later. But this is just like first reaction. Um, the one two of the bad guy bad guys who come go after somebody in the movie. I'll be super specific here. They have like no facial expressions. Like they're just like. And then when the guy tells him, you have to go take care of the bad guy. And he's just, they're just like, mm, me gusta. <laughs> they don't move, have any face. Like, they have no personality. Like, they're the definite, like, they have red shirts too, so they might have been red shirted. But they didn't die either. Nobody died. Well, not nobody.
I mean, none of the bad guys. Like, nobody... Nobody just gets killed off screen. Okay, I'm not giving anything away. People might have died, people may not. Alright, you just don't know. But I recommend you go see this movie and you enjoy it. Like, I loved it so much. I'll probably do a full review. Like, if I ever have all the time in the world. I don't know. It was super fun. I loved the movie. I think it had okay message and like let it go let it go and never really mind it to cold and it, it was kind of sad at first like when the woman locks herself away she's not allowed to talk with her sister but they were so close for a second there and then ah, I wept inside I couldn't weep out I couldn't weep out in the open because I'm mad okay I didn't weep out in the open because I just have a hard time crying because from the gender stereotypes pressed upon me. One of the big thing about the well tangled in this is, is it took like they gave a, a woman a very strong and independent role, very feminist observant. A lot of people had like things against both tangled, tangled and some other movies because they go after a man. They get him, they get the man in the end. But I'm like, hmm, I don't understand. Like if a man gets the woman in the end, that's not that's not demeaning towards him, it's like, he, he gets her as a prize, I mean, the man, and it's not even like they get the man, at, she gets the man as a prize, it's not sexist towards men either, it's not objectifying, it's, look, they find each other, it's, it's romantic, it's good, it's not hero gets the sex object and reward or whatever, it's good, it's a good movie, I don't care, I don't care, it's a good movie, uh, okay, but, I, I don't know, is there anything else I need to talk about this movie with before? I don't know. If you saw it, tell me what you thought of it.